Hey guys, so first math video, cause why not? So the problem I'm gonna talk about today is 2019 Junior Balkan Mathematical Olympiad problem number three. So that contest has four items, and you're given four and a half hours to answer it. Show full solutions for each item. Ten points each for a total of forty points. Based on what I've seen from like 2016 to 2018, bronze cutoffs have become less than 10 and I don't really remember anymore I joined that when I was in 2017 the cutoffs that year were like bronze was I actually forgot the cutoff for bronze silver was 19 I remember I scored 20 which was nice gold cutoff was like 30 something it was super high anyway so yeah so the statement of the problem is as follows so you have your triangle ABC there and then it's specifically stated AB less than AC, although in, it doesn't actually matter. It doesn't specify that it's an acute triangle, but config issues can be handled. I think the config issues here can be handled with directed angles, if ever. And then, so you have your triangle ABC, orthocenter H. Then you have the perpendicular bisector of BC. It intersects AB at P and AC at Q. And then, so M's the midpoint of BC, N is the midpoint of PQ. So what we want to prove is that AN and HM intersect on the circumcircle of triangle ABC. So I label that point as K. So yeah, I tried mocking JBMO 2019. I remember I got to solve all four items and I had like one hour left. I don't remember when I did that. I think it was a few months ago. This was the first question I solved because I like jump. I think it took me like five, 10 minutes. I don't know, I got lucky because I knew something beforehand. So yeah, this midpoint orthocenter line, I've seen other problems with that before. So yeah, I drew in a more complete diagram here. So if it's a well-known property that if you have the orthocenter and you reflect it about the midpoint, you reflect it, then this point, let's call it H prime, is a dia is on is the lies on the circumcircle of, cir of triangle ABC, and AH prime is gonna be a diameter, passes through the center right there. So the proof of this is as follows. So first of all, since HM equals MH, and BM equals MC, so like the diagonals of this quadrilateral bisect each other, we get that this thing is a parallelogram. Mm, yeah, it's a parallelogram. Huh. How, how do you rigorously prove that? Well, but yeah, it should be obvious that it's a parallelogram. So yeah, so this angle, it's easy to see that. So this, since it's a parallelogram, this angle is equal to this angle. And then it's equal to this angle. Now since 90 degrees, 90 degrees because of the altitudes, this and this are supplementary. So this and this are supplementary. That implies the cyclicity of A, B, H prime C. So now after we get it cyclic, the next part is proving that this is a diameter. This this is a well-known lemma by, for me at this point, but yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, so this, let's let, the, let's let this angle be A, this angle be B, this angle be C. So this is angle C, right angle in this triangle. We'll get that this is 90 minus C. Similarly, in this triangle, this is 90 minus B. And then since parallelogram, you know, you have those two congruent triangles there. So this is also equal to 90 minus B. And now in this right triangle, this thing is 90 minus A. I just realized I could have done something else. The bad this is A, already had this is 180 minus A. So yeah, parallelogram, so this is also equal to A. Anyway, 90 minus C and 90 minus B, they add up to A, same thing. Either way, the main point is it's easy to angle chase that this is a right angle. Since this is a right angle in this circle, this has to be a diameter. Boom. So now we prove the lemma that reflecting the orthocenter over the midpoint of the side lies on the circumcircle and gives you a diameter. So now the nice thing about this is that if we extend this line over there to the K there, MH, MH, see where MH, same thing, see where I'm going here. So this is a diameter. So since it's a diameter, this is 90 degrees. Now this thing, this point K, 
I've seen it in a bunch of problems before, as I've said. So I've given it a name, MH point, because MH. Midpoint's usually called M, or the center usually called H. Connect it, so I called it the MH point. Anyway, so this point has some interesting properties, such as, so since this is 90 degrees, then this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, A, K, F, H, E are cyclic with the diameter A, H. And also obviously B, C, E, F cyclic because 90 degrees, 90 degrees, equal angles. So, and then we have A, K, B, C cyclic from definition, it's the intersection. So cyclic, cyclic, cyclic. So you take the three circles I just mentioned, this is then by radical axis, you have AK, EF, and BC are concurrent. And then another interesting thing, K is also the McKill point of complete quadrilateral BC, EF. That is, that is very beyond the scope of this video, but if you know what that is, yeah, K is the McKill point of complete quadrilateral BC, EF. And then, so yeah. So, I know that if I let MH intersect the circle at K prime, so I don't know if this is actually collinear yet. Let's use a dotted line to represent that. In an actual contest, you should erase it and draw it more properly, but yeah. So let's instead, I let it intersect here at K prime. So I know that angle A, K prime, I know that, let's use my left hand. I can't find the proper way to hold this. Okay, wait, uh, my hand keeps blocking. So yeah, we know that A, K prime H is 90 degrees because we defined it as MH intersecting there. So now we need to show that NA K prime collinear so that we'll have that K prime is their intersection and by definition K prime already lies on the circle. So yeah, we need to prove these three collinear. Now the thing, since A K prime is perpendicular to MH, this is equivalent to proving that NA is perpendicular to MH. So at this point, you might be thinking, how do you prove that they're perpendicular? But then notice something, BC is also perpendicular to PQ, so it's kind of like 90 degrees rotation. Similarly, HM, the line, is kind of like rotated 90 degrees to AN. So if you draw a good diagram like mine with accurate angle stuff, you might notice that, hey, these two triangles look similar. So a quick angle chase shows us this, this is 90 minus C again. And since this is the perpendicular bisector, this is C. Again, this is 90 minus C. Because, yeah, 90 minus C. Similarly, this is 90 minus B. Because if we draw that triangle, right angle, B, 90 minus B. And then this one, another right triangle, B. So this is 90 minus B. Boom. 90 minus C, 90 minus C, 90 minus B, 90 minus B. We get, oh, my hand hurts, my iPad's heavy. Triangle B, H, C similar to triangle QAP. Boom. And then, it, they are also 90 degrees rotations of each other. And, but then since M and N, their corresponding points, midpoint of BC, midpo midpoint of PQ. So yeah, M and N are corresponding points. So we also have that this triangle is similar to this triangle. Now since this, and these are perpendicular. And then, yeah, we have these two angles are now equal to some unknown angle, but that's not important. What's important is that these two angles are now equal. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. So, uh, what was it? So, yeah, these two angles are equal. So, it's like 90 degrees rotation. So, these two, HM and AN are perpendicular. How do you say this more rigorously? Oh yeah, you let this be alpha, alpha. This one, 90 minus alpha. Because this is 90 degrees, so 90 minus alpha. So alpha, 90 minus alpha, rigorously proving that these two are perpendicular. And now since AN is perpendicular to HM and AK prime is perpendicular to HM, they have to be the same line. Because they're both the line th they both lie on the line through A perpendicular to HM. Hence we get that these three are collinear. So therefore, if we inter we have proven that if we intersect MH with the circumcircle at K prime, then K prime also lies on line AN. So K prime is the is the specified intersection and we know it lies on the circumcircle. 
Hence, they intersect on the circumcircle. Q, E, B. Or shaded square. I use shaded squares in contest, but it sounds better when I say Q, E, D. So, yeah. And that's how you solve JBML uh, 2019 Junior Balkan Mathematical Olympiad Problem Number 3. So, yeah. MH points are interesting. Mikhail point, concurrent. I don't know. I think I first discovered it when I was solving some APMO problem. It had like, it had, I think it had like a circle, then like that, and then it had that, and then, yeah, it, I remember it drew that random line, and then it drew something like that. Yeah, it drew the MH point, and then it got the foot of the altitude, drew like that. And it practically said prove that this times this equals this times this. Which is basically saying prove that it's a harmonic quadrilateral, prove that this is a semedian. I remember I was like, oh, circumcenter. Boom. These two isogonal conjugates. These two should be isogonal conjugates. That angle should be equal to that angle. And then I managed to show that this triangle and this triangle are similar. I don't really remember how I did that anymore. How did I do that? Hold on. Yeah, I don't really remember now. But something like that. That was the first question where I saw that. That was like an... Asia Pacific Mathematical Olympiad problem number four? No, 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 no. It, I don't remember what year or what problem. I just saw it. That's the first time I saw this point. This interesting point. MH point. Appears again in JBMO. Wow. Well, yeah. Uh, so that's all. Thanks for watching.